All right guys, so today we are going to be filming some behind the scenes of how to get these type of shots. So let's see how this goes. It's gonna get weird and interesting. All right, guys, so we are done dextering the apartment up. Uh, hopefully, everything will stay clean as much as possible, and we'll kind of see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and set up the lights and the camera for an overhead shot. Really wish I did not have that ceiling fan, but we're going to work around it. This is going to be difficult and challenging, but all at the same time, it's going to be fun. Uh, just created real quickly a little shot list to go off of and hopefully this experimental shoot goes well. Um, uh, <laughs> this is going to be interesting because I also don't have any assistance today so it's going to get weird. Let's get weird together. Let's, let's do it. All right. So another thing I wanted to mention was the fact that today we are shooting with some new equipment. Uh, it's not my equipment, it's equipment borrowed from a friend, multiple friends actually. And we are going to be shooting on the Sony FX3, is that right? Yes, Sony FX3 and we're going to be using a 35 prime, an 85 prime and special guest of the Pro Blends. Really excited to use this Pro Blends for the first time. I've been waiting to, uh, to test it out. I've seen a bunch of YouTubers using it and seen it in a bunch of different content creation uh, videos. So definitely super excited to try it. Now it's time to set up the scene, get the actual lighting done. So let's go. All right guys, so we have finished putting together the actual lighting setup. So we have the product here in the middle and then up here we have our, uh, here we have our key light, we have a fill over here and then the NAN light over here was a little too hot for the background so I put a little diffusion on it. And actually, let me show you how that actually translates as well. There we go, okay, so that's without the diffuser on the spotlight for the background and that's with it it's a little hard to see on this camera uh, but basically it kind of softens the light a little bit so the background doesn't look as much as a spotlight and actually gives it a nice even uh, light all around all right so now that we have the hero shot set up here uh, we're going to take a couple of clean plates here uh, so we have them for editing and then start making the magic happen. All right guys, oh, sorry. Um, sorry about that. All right guys, so we just did a test with the powder here. I know it's super bright, you can't really tell, but I think it came out pretty good. We were shooting it in 120 frames and it uh, should look pretty cool once I slow that footage down. Now I am pretty happy with this setup and I'm actually really glad that I put up all this sh crap because uh, the powder has literally gone everywhere. And uh, the reason why for this is because last time I worked with the powder, I felt like I was breathing it in the entire time and just wasn't good. So we're gonna do this same shot with the other three flavors and hopefully those will come out good as well.
All right, so we're gonna actually check that shot that we just took on the computer to make sure that we got the shot. I don't wanna move on to a different flavor and do all these uh, powder slow-mo shots and then realize it didn't work. Sorry, light. All right, guys, so we just finished up the shot with this probe lens here, and uh, we want to just get some really nice detail shots of the packaging for the video. And um, as you can see, it's a very elaborate setup here. Uh, it's a little dark. There we go. Now you can see it. I have the probe lens on the FX3, and then we have the product here. Pretty impressed with what this lens can do. Definitely need to get a better slider because that was a bitch to uh, move around in. You know, I, uh, I don't know why I am the way that I am. Here I am wrapping up these last shots, or so I thought. And a burst of inspiration decides to just run through my body. My brain decides that it wants to get creative and came up with a handful of other shots that we could add to this. The video or standalone pieces, I don't know, but we're taking advantage that my living room is a complete disaster. So we're just gonna keep on keeping on, and I do apologize for how long this video is, but hopefully you learn some things. And you learn some things of what not to do. What I'm picturing in my head is just kind of like the top half of the bottle, like what I was just doing. Why was I filming like that? I don't know why. Lost my train of thought. But anyways, this was the other idea, green screening this product and another the other product that we are shooting for this video as well. So that's where we're at. Uh, so we are done taking that basic uh, shot of the bottle. Now we are going to set up for some fruit tossing, some fruit ninja action. Wow, that was so blinding. Why did I do I'm really excited uh, to see this footage on the computer and see how I can manipulate it. But anyways, I digress. I hope to bring more of these videos for you guys to enjoy. I know I enjoy making them. So let's uh, stay weird out there, guys, all right? Toodles.